is up explorers welcome to another episode of urbex magic urban explorations today we are exploring an abandoned mansion now this place was converted into a bunch of apartments and recently well like a couple years ago it was purchased by a developer who wanted to turn it into an old folks home and i guess he's been having all kinds of issues trying to get through the court so uh it's just been sitting here for three or four years now, you know, abandoned with nothing going on. So uh, I'm already inside, so I'm going to take you through and we'll check it out and see what's around. All right, so here's what we see when we first walk in. It's a pretty modern room, even though the house is very, very old. They've gone through and painted everything um, but as you can see right now the paint is uh, is not is not doing too good it's uh, it's starting to peel off on the ceiling it's peeling off on the walls and uh, paint does that when there are temperature changes where it goes from hot to cold so when there's no heat or air conditioning in a building and the seasons change and it's not taken care of, that's what happens. We have uh, inside this closet here. Some stuff left. I don't want to get too close because it looks like some personal stuff with kids' photos and they're pretty recent, so I don't want to get in there and show their business, but take a look. here it's just so much attention to detail back in, in the day when they built homes things that they don't do anymore even though these are pretty modern cabinets now that I feel them and uh, don't mind my stuff in here I have my my backpack and my jacket and my exploring stuff but over there, chandelier, it's a nice brass chandelier, but it is pretty modern, it's not antique, and over here is a small bathroom, nothing special about the bathroom here, it has some tile floor, looks like those tiles are probably from the, the 80s, if I had to guess. Got a pretty modern kitchen. Linoleum floor. These are press board cabinets. It looks like there is some stuff left. I think uh, over here, yeah, they left some plates and some glasses. We even got some Fritos. Luckily, I, I ate before I came. I'd be in, uh, in luck. But uh, yeah, so the stove's here still. The refrigerator is here. Do I dare open the refrigerator? I guess why the hell not, right? And there are some eggs left in there. Disgusting too. Let's check the freezer. Oh boy. Goya empanadas do not smell good after they have been sitting here for a while. So uh, that's basically it for the downstairs. Let's head upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. Alright guys, so we're going to head up the stairs here. I haven't been up here yet. So I'm not sure. Modern. 
That's basically it for this section. We're gonna see if we can get into one of the other units and uh, I'll be back with you. Stick tight. All right, guys, so as I was leaving, I noticed inside one of these suitcases, there was a box and it just, it stuck out to me. So I wanted to show you. It's, uh, it's an edible thong chocolate and strawberry so now that tells us a little bit more about the people that lived here they're my kind of people all right so uh all right we're gonna go and see if we can get into the other side Okay guys, so while I was outside, I was filming the outside and then I was flying the drone a bit, I noticed some, some guys parked over in the side of the house and started walking up and it was the developers. And uh, they, they thought that I was with like the news channel or somebody that was against them opening up this place here in Marblehead. So uh, I kind of had to play stupid and just say that I was walking around, I love old houses and I, uh, I told them I'd leave, so I'm gonna give them a little bit of time and see if they leave, and then maybe we can go back. Um, Cause as I was leaving, I noticed that there's another house right next to it that's also abandoned. I'd love to go and take a look at that one too. So we'll give them a little bit of time and uh, we'll check back in a bit. All right. 